We understand that for many of you, getting back to work is a top priority. Until that happens, you're left with filing an unemployment claim that for many has been a frustrating and challenging experience. Sean Gallagher tonight takes your concerns to lawmakers. For the last two months, we fielded more questions on unemployment than any other topic I've covered in news, and people are getting desperate for help. I need the money very bad. We're stuck. We don't know what to do. Struggling, to say the least. One man we followed along the way was furloughed on April 3rd and struggled to get unemployment benefits. He didn't want to go on camera, but you can read about his experiences at TMJ4.com slash rebound blog. We went to get him answers, and today, those benefits finally came through as more people like him reach out to their lawmakers for help. We've looked into the numbers, and one in three people still haven't received their claim. That's a problem. Representative Adam Nealon says more needs to be done to help the backlog of unemployment claims. To date, Wisconsin has paid 1.4 million claims, but there are some 700,000 claims still outstanding. That's not good enough. We need to do more to respond uh, in an efficient manner. What hasn't been efficient is the archaic technology the DWD is using from some 50 years ago. However, Representative Chris Kapenga says that's not the biggest issue. The systems are outdated, but yet they still do seem to function. Why are we not shifting over personnel? Why are you not working 24 7? Thursday, Governor Tony Evers announced what efforts are being put in place to help, bringing on 1,300 staff members, new call centers, and expanding their hours of operation by two hours. Some people ask the question, so why don't you go 24 hours a day? The system works this way. You collect information, the application materials from the client, and then that same system provides the money to people. You look at other states that are extending their call hours till later in the evening, and we're still closing at bank hours. While calling your lawmaker may help, they don't want to make any promises, but those in need are keeping the faith. The fact that they're telling me next week, it gives me hope. The fact that they keep telling me after midnight, it gives me hope. So here's the rebound rundown. The DWD has added 1,300 people to help with the influx of calls. They're still working on contracting four new call centers, and they've expanded operations by about two hours from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Senator Kapenga is on the Labor and Regulatory Reform Committee who meet next week. He says he's going to get specific answers on why unemployment benefits still haven't been paid. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.